It hasn't been easy for all of us. Some days are just better than the others. But yes, we are all weary soldiers in a battle that rages on. All of us just in different levels of trying. Each of us doing what we must to thrive and survive in what is a very strange, painful, tender, unprecedented time in the world. It's so easy to get caught up in worry, anxiety. We all know this resident sadness that comes and goes. And it's so easy to drown in those feelings and be consumed by the sum of it all. My Tita Indai once gave me a coin some years back and on it were the words, one day at a time, practical wisdom, profound in its simplicity. I keep it in a drawer a beautiful reminder that if we take on the hard parts of a life in smaller bits, maybe we can manage better and trust that as we forge on, we will get through this. On days when I myself feel disjointed, tired, unhinged emotionally, I try to defocus and step outside my feelings by doing something nice for someone else. So today is for a friend of mine who is going through a bit of a rough time. I may not be able to make all her woes magically go away, but I would very much like to make her smile. I always keep a stack of little notebooks. I like writing on them. Customizing each page with little notes and quotes meant specifically for what the recipient is going through. Today, I will use scriptures. I will lift beautiful quotes, all thematically aimed at uplifting her spirits. like to leave some pages blank so that my friend can also write whatever other quotes or scriptures she will come across in the future that may also resonate with her. noticed, some pages are embellished, others are not. No two notebooks I make are ever exactly alike. 
But like I always say, no rules. I just go with what feels right for the heart. So this is good to go. I will put this in a recycled box together with a few other little things. A milagro to remind her that prayers do get answered. A bottle of lavender essential oil. A lipstick in a happy color. A set of cards about gratitude. As I do this, no that this happens to be a very gentle and healing process for me too. find that as I give of myself, so is my cup filled. It works both ways, always.
I hope this package makes her smile and that it somehow softens the rough edges of the day. I know that one day, she too will do something like this for someone else. We all pay it forward, I guess, just in different ways. After all, we all look out for each other. We do what we can for each other in God's garden.